Welcome to the Buy Box Bandits podcast. Uh, we'll keep moving on that. Cool. So yeah, thanks everyone checking out another episode of the Buy Box Bandits podcast. This is our second live episode. So if anyone's listening to this on obviously the replay, which you know the majority of you guys are. Make sure to subscribe to Wi-Fi Ash John and Flip for Miles on YouTube so you can see potentially the next one as well as our other content we put out on that and everything. Um, it's so number 70, be, 73, I think. 70. No, 74. 74. Is it 74? I, well, someone fact check me on that. But on the on the Google Drive folder, it has 73. But um, I'm pretty sure we only have 70 – or. 74 but we only have 72 live and one going See, to one. wi-fi left from the drive and now everything's unorganized i had it so it's, it's weird so on the YouTube it says your extended leave of absence started like eight months ago at this point i don't think we were on this podcast eight months ago actually we were we were 11 years ago. yeah it's been almost a year so why why does it say on the youtube it says 71 videos but on the title it says episode 72 that's what i was thinking somewhere there's one off. oh we deleted a video yes Whoa. wait but that wouldn't affect the title though yes no, it would affect yeah, the there'd be video. oh in the drive but why would we delete it in drive too well no that no there's a discrepancy between the live episode and the drive that one uh I'm, i'll put it in the private chat oh i remember we don't know we don't um yeah give them any clout anymore yeah. i remember yeah, well, they uh, yeah. People. all right i mean like uh, we'll keep moving um on that uh but yeah, State of the Union wholesale dress back to school, really heating up. Let me see. Let me show my beautiful bars here. Oh, and my seller app screwed up actually, so I can't. Uh, I'm gonna have Dude, to my them. seller app's been like off the wall p- past two days. Just like bad. I'll like refresh, and there's like glitches on it. It was saying like mm-hmm. we can't load your data, and every time that happens, I feel like my account got suspended. Yeah. <laughs> Same. You're running a webinar tonight. Cool. <laughs> On there. <laughs> Here's uh, a question. I got a question. Is it worth jumping on a listing with no buy box? Yes. It depends what the velocity is, but yes, but usually. Many times, yes. Right? Because we're assuming uh, somewhere between like a 15 or 30% drop off in velocity when there is a buy box. So as long as the velocity hangs. The good. automation store one, we would never have an automation person on here. I've had a couple people who do automation book calls for my coach program and they've never they've never like not a single one has been able to communicate like a like a human like been able to follow like been able wait to, why do they book calls because they want to learn how to do amazon the right way wait, what is, and then you, none of them like every single one says i want to think about it and then never responds how do you know that they're automation like, how they they like it. yeah they say it and i'm like i, I don't know i mean I'm, obviously like i'm tell, a businessman yeah. you know what i mean like i i'm here to provide a service uh, hey guys, when you typically see sales, uh, yeah. So Jr., you can reference the previous Keepa charts, but there's a good chance it'll be right around September 5th to the 10th, your boy's 20, uh, 24th birthday, which will be we'll have to beat next year, uh, or last year, which would be five hours or six hours, I think. Uh, we'll That'd see. Be wild. We'd have we'd have to plan it out. We'd have to plan it out. Yeah. Oh, which. But I mean, it's definitely doable. I think. Oh yeah, we did do a long stream last year. Yeah. For that. Danny, were you? That was before. Yeah, he was. was. was what? I was there the whole time. Yeah, it was pre Miami. Yeah, we got all crazy. Yeah, that was before. That was pre Miami. Yeah. What? I didn't get crazy. All right, relax. Pump the brake. <laughs> so we had an episode. What was it? Last Thursday or Wednesday? We did just us. Yeah, yeah but that's not week. that's not out yet. That's out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just talking in you know in general. Such. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Time to go and source those listings. Also, you're all the best. Taught me everything. You gave me the push to send my products. Great work. Oh, like, Reggie. Glad stuff's working on that um, and everything. So Wi-Fi, what'd you do this week for the Amazon business? Um, I don't really think I did this week. It's Tuesday. Not much. It's Handled some stuff. Some inventory was lost in one of my Ooh. prep centers. And I was like, you better find it because it's did there. They find it? Yeah, they found it. Cool. Danny, you know, how, you know other way. You know other ways to find inventory. Um, Using our sponsor, Seller Amp, Seller Amp, to find profitable items. Mobile app, Chrome extension, web app. Check it out if you're not already. It's 17 bucks a month. Turn the best way, in my opinion, to find profitable arbitrage products. Get a free trial link in the description. Super not the seller to find that Danny was talking about, but okay, we'll roll with it. Everyone wants to find inventory. Danny and I are linking yeah. next week, Miles. You should come through. Where? 
at the crib. He's going back to Jersey. Oh, stopping by on the way? Yeah. I'll, well, well the- no, it's an hour from my house. So I'll just go there one day. Yeah. Bro, Miles, you should come through Thursday or Friday this week. Yeah, you had texted me. Yeah, one of those days I think will work. No, I just do it when I'm going, like on Tuesday or something. Tuesday, next Tuesday, or no, both. next yeah. Tuesday. We should film first in-person pod in like a year, yeah. Not next Tuesday. What, um, today? Like the, the Tuesday after. Yeah, like the 23rd. Twenty. Th- yeah, I mean, we can, we can do in-person pod, yeah. No, that's the day I get back from Vegas. Oh, you are going? Yeah, Lester's going too. Oh, cool! Damn, that's gonna be Dan. You should. You ought to go for the I mean, stuff. To ASD? Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I can't. Next Friday. Oh, the wedding. That and my brother's coming home from the military. Yeah. I can't like. Everyone, uh, congratulate Danny in the comments on the wedding. Oh, here we for go. What? Uh, found a product for Nike and Adidas. Can they be on the same invoice? Uh flats. I would switch it up just to make it easier on the Amazon system that's reading it. But I mean, I it probably also will work. But I would switch it up. I hear people are getting ungated from, like, Kohl's receipts now. Is that true? Mm-hmm. That's 100% true. That's crazy. Do they yeah. edit it at all, or is it just straight up? No, you just send it Send it in. No different than East Bay. NJ. Vivian, you're an NJ? Shout out. Shout out, New Jersey. Yeah, because I read somewhere some people were, like, writing out the receipt. I don't know. I, I yeah, I don't know about well, all that. East Bay was an invoice. But yeah. it's, like, the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, the email looks the same, and the email can work. Yeah, it's pretty cool regardless, though. I feel like Amazon, Amazon's gotten so lenient over the years. Yeah. Which is nice. That's good for us, obviously. Oh, big time. Uh, yeah, so yeah. much easier to beat. Do you guys see that even when you have multiple items on a listing, like 10, if you get the buy box, will you stay on the buy box for all 10 items, or will someone else get it? It depends, Um, but typically I'll stay in it for a certain amount of time. Ooh, questions that need answers. <laughs> questions that need answers. They'll they'll be coming back. I, I don't like repeating myself. So making like when videos where I feel that's like I'm repeating myself, it's is. kind of hard yeah. to do. Yeah. But uh, you, I, they'll be coming back. YouTube videos? I mean, yeah, I have been in like a month. So, oh, you've been super MIA. Yeah. Got the live Buy Box Bandit episode going. Make sure to check out the podcast on all platforms. Just a little Instagram yeah, story action. Besides Walmart, how do I find those high order limit websites? Well, that's that's the golden ticket right there. That is yeah, the- by going by going to websites and seeing what quantity you can add to cart. That's the first chart. Who isn't serving me here? Yeah, I mean that's that's the million dollar question for real though. I've used Kohl's multiple times. I scan the paperwork that comes in the box. That's pretty cool. That is definitely good to know. Google isn't serving me here. Just go to websites and see and try to add a ton to cart. And then you'll you'll gradually figure it out. Scan the paperwork that comes in the box. Hell yeah, Kate. Glad that's uh glad that's working. Danny and I were talking about some back to school inventory later today. You were talking about some back to school inventory later today? Or this morning. This morning or the, this that. afternoon while we'll the sun maxing. Yeah, and Danny was hiding under fluorescent lights inside. Um on that. Everything. What other questions do we have, boys and girls, on uh on this? No phones during podcast, boys. Come on, be respectful. Miles, you are the podcast, peak story. uh breaker of that rule. Phones, yeah. laptops, sending emails. He's always around, always typing away on something. Too late to school. Back, source back to school. No, 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 not at all. If you're <laughs> MFing stuff, not at all. If you have to get some demand up until like questions, September. questions <laughs> that need answers. Miles is forever single. Pin that Thanks. one. Uh, I think some websites let you add a ton of cart, but on the back end, it flags and cancels. The only way to find out is to test it. 100%. Yeah. Pretty much always the answer is to, to this stuff is try it. You know what I mean? If you think about like, so a guy like Jake, for example, like I love him to death. He just does stuff. You know what I mean? He tries and iterate, and that's why stuff works. You know what I mean? That curiosity is so important. Like so many of you guys are rant, but so many of you guys are looking for permission to make money when if you just did it, you would end up making way more than needing validation from us um, on that's different stuff. Well, definitely just test yeah. it. It's, yeah. Tips on uh, websites that cancel orders immediately. I think, it must, I think it's my address. What, uh, what website, R. Hayes? You talking about Jake Paul? Damn, the bull rake and profit in the building. Uh, you got to let me know when you want to make, you want to come on. 
definitely. So our haze, I mean, first and foremost, Target's going to be a no go. Um, yeah. Target is, is super and couldn't be more anti reseller. But apart from that, right, you want to be checking out with PayPal. Sometimes you just kind of have to tinker with your address of the prep center, add a suite, add an extra letter here and there. Um, but PayPal is huge, right? Because for like the, the site is going to go to PayPal for validation, payment verification, and you essentially pay PayPal, right? So they act sort of like that, that intermediary of security. Yeah. So why are you worried about getting blacklisted from sites you weren't even buying a lot from in the first place? It's true. That's my my personal philosophy on it um and uh, they're really the only sites you'll get really blacklisted on are like target and pivot yeah and if you oh, are gonna get blacklisted might as well go balls to the wall and then just get blacklisted Dude, yeah that's cool. my that's my flaw yeah that is 100 percent my philosophy as well uh, like if it's target might as well just do it as long as you can yeah make, make the blacklist worth your while yeah yeah as long as they can't cancel my birthday i don't stress it yeah i don't think they can cancel your birthday uh, new Discord and researching before I sell. Q, you find an item that you can make profit. You you buy some, but you're gated. Then you have to buy ten at normal price to be able to sell. Nope, you could you would just buy ten of that normal item, submit the invoice. It'll probably work. But in many cases, you're not going to run into like you should be pretty focused categorically. That way, you don't need to do a lot of ungating. Is estimated sales per month on seller? I'm taking into account variations in number of sellers. Uh, do I have to dive into the estimate to figure out how many I can sell per month? Yeah, you'll have to further dive into it. Um, definitely on that, but yeah, it doesn't take into account variations. You make another account after they blacklist you. Uh, I mean, yes. And you try other emails, other address, changing up your address a little bit. Um, on that, there, there's many ways to get around it, but it's kind of the, the thing that's on a case by case basis by website for the most part. I mean, so McBean, you can, uh, seller makes it pretty easy to kind of get a rough estimate of, of how many units or sales a variation is selling, right? Because it gives percentages of everything. You get a buy box percentage within a listing, right? So you know how many of a particular size or color or variation that any of those sellers is winning. And you can kind of, you know, correlate that to sales. And then from a, a variation size perspective, it's simply just, you know, the relative amount of units that that listing is getting, right? So you look at the, the ratings. Percent. Oh, damn, the Philo, the Philo flippers. What up? Got a lot of love for the Philo flippers. Who's that? I Feel just dude on Instagram. I've been I've been going to know a little bit. I mean, what, who else? You know what I mean? Like, be comment by Roma the Roamer. I agree. Savages. Danny, come up with a stronger background game. Than... Yeah, stronger background game than no content. What What's the use as a good background if you're never at the show? Zoom. Hmm. Think about that. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't really have Zoom calls with you. And we do the podcast over Zoom. Almost. No, not with you. Like suppliers, sales reps. You go on Zoom with suppliers. Zoom with suppliers? Yeah. You guys don't, you never <laughs> yeah. Zoomed with a sales rep? On that one. What's up? You've never Zoomed with a sales rep? Oh. I have. What do you mean? It's great. Rich, that, sound, that sounds kind of inappropriate, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like you'd want to just uh, talk on APM. How does that even like? Do they request a Zoom? Like I've no, never. No, I do. I do. It's mm. better in person. So you can screen share and such, and like show listings. And Not stuff. really that. It's just you can get more done when you're face to face with someone. That see your phone. charming. See your yeah. charming. Face. Yeah. Seriously, do you, um, like, do you shape I, it up a little bit or not? Yeah, I do. No, I actually I haven't done <laughs> one in a while. But really? um, but no, it like. For anyone wondering, if you can get face to face with a sales rep, whether Zoom, I mean, in person, in person. obviously, yeah, like but like, Zoom kind of yeah. serves the same purpose. ASD. It's like all of my best accounts right now are with sales reps that have agreed to go on Zoom calls with me. Do you um do you flex the the Miami background or just the just no, the no you never background. really have you never really have yeah you used to have when you had the setup behind it was kind of um on that so what's the ASD game plan what is ASD how does it work what are you going to be doing there. How much money are you going to lose gambling? Uh, so it's a trade show, right? And so it's essentially a meeting ground, a networking event for vendors, brands, wholesalers, distributors, and e-commerce sellers, or people that just want to buy products cash in hand, right? So it's kind of a an entire networking event in the e-commerce space. Um, it's held in Vegas, right? So it's going to be tons of fun. <laughs> and, and it acts as like a double of a networking event for Amazon sellers in the... In the, the um, 
Instagram community, right? A bunch mm -hmm. of tellers that I know go, we meet up, we hang out. Taylor was there. Taylor made an appearance last year. Taylor's yeah. friend who did, doesn't even do Amazon went. Romer, yeah. Romer went last year. I forget. There was a couple people that I met up with. But yeah, it was a good time. F, uh, the Bull FBA rookie's going. I know he's from Vegas. Last First time year. on Discord. I don't see any activity. Is that normal? Ah, uh, there's been since we've been live. There's been a bunch of messages in there. I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm sure there are. You're probably just looking at some of the slower channels. Signed in as a prime customer and knows that many listings are showing a FBI item winning the buy box, even if it's not the fastest changes. To, uh, no, that's normal. They're probably just closer to you. Curious what difference you noticed with Zoom calls versus on the phone when talking to sales. I think he's gassing it, but I'm I'm okay. not. I'm not like people are less likely to lie to you or bullshit you over zoom because it's face to face and you build a personal relationship with them quicker than just over the phone. Is that in the course? I mean, yeah. But like, oh, okay. There was a time. So back when, back in the day when Danny and I launched the program together, he did all of his closing calls over the phone because he didn't want to show people his young face. Well, yeah, that ex well, there, there's certain ways when it, it works better. And, and like there's certain areas where it will go against you. So in the event of when we had our program, if we got on the Zoom and they saw this, it's like, he's, no way. He's just he's scrambling like a dating coach yeah. on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, you – so is it like if a day you shave and you're looking a little younger, is that a phone day? No, nah, like I get on a Zoom call right now with a sales rep like this. Granted, I've already sent a lot of purchase orders to them. So it's like they're going to see – it just kind of is what it is. But no, you build a personal relationship with sales reps or your account reps a lot quicker over Zoom than you would being just – the number of calling on the phone is fact. ASC is good, but many vendors will not supply FBA sellers. Yeah, but some will. So you can choose to not make any money or you can find the ones that do. I mean, our first brand direct account came from ASD and we made thousands and thousands of dollars from that one account, right? And that came from being there, shaking his hand and, and we placed our first PO on the spot. See? See? Same shit. That, oh, now we're comparing... Damn, you must just live in the metaverse. Uh, what happened to the trucking company? More questions. For you. Everyone's just uncovering like their years worth of questions. Hold <laughs> it. Uh, why do sellers tank the price at a clip versus pennies? It's so they can dominate the buy box. Uh, I don't really know what you mean. Uh, when's the best time to... Uh, I don't know uh, what that is. When slash how much do you recommend setting setting up wholesale relationships to feed FDA versus sourcing from online retailers? Seems like wholesale gets you better pricing and volume. It kind of depends because a lot of times you aren't going to be able to buy wholesale and some items you won't be able to buy profitably at retail price. So it's, it, they're just two different models that you can totally do both. If you have under five grand, I'd probably recommend do arbitrage. If you have over five grand and a lot of time and potentially business experience, then wholesale probably makes more sense. Time, and it does long term. Time, time rich, cash rich is what you're saying. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah. Vivian, Vivian, the theory is right. So typically, and not all <laughs> the case, but typically the buy box will go to one of the lowest FBA offers, if not the lowest, right? So some people undercut to kind of achieve that lowest FBA offer to get the buy box, right? But undercutting for three to five dollars, that doesn't accomplish anything. Yeah. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's a good question. My account got deactivated, but it's actually I made two accounts under my name when starting recommendations for appeal services. If you get in contact with Amazon, I'm sure they'll be helpful with it. But Riverbend Consulting from, I haven't used them, but I've heard good things. Yeah, I'd probably Once, close uh, one account and then appeal it. The best time to get a VA, considering I also have a full-time job, uh, I would say once you're doing like 20 to 30K a month in sales. I also think people should have, like, Joseph, you'd be much better off, like, finding a couple of guys you can go back and forth with leads-wise to learn together, like we did when we were starting and everything from socials um then getting a va and everything because i mean we we were like we're all so lucky we obviously i mean we you know we put in you know things conspired to make that happen but that that is a hundred percent the reason we we found success so quickly is because we're all just masterminding around different stuff with no nothing held back like we were getting all those order cancels and everything like everyone was buying the air force ones we were trying to sell they were just buying them and then can't that was the worst man but that, yeah. was, that was hella profitable though Oh, big time. When, when you surround yourself with people that are looking to do the same thing, it's going to be like the result is, is greater than the, the sum of its parts, right? You just do more 
when you're around good people that work hard. I mean, that's yeah, it indoctrinates you. Also, yeah. also, if you're getting a VA, you have to have like actual systems in place. You can't just like get a VA and then be like, here you go. Like you got to have like an actual system in place for sourcing, buying, and then you hand them over or, or teach them that system. Yeah. Celeramp Google Sheets integration is really helpful for that. Um, definitely. And you got to be able to train them. So you got to be, you got to be good at it in the first place. And I think many people go that route way too early when they aren't even good on their own. Um, yeah, the, the, v, the VA is only going to be as good as like the instruction you provide. It's like a puppet. They're like puppets, right? If you give them a good SOP, they will follow that, right? But if you're expecting them to do some critical thinking, that's just not not realistic. Uh, this is a good question in terms of preparation for ASD. Uh, when going to ASD, you check the products on the spot to see if it's worth placing in order or you check beforehand, right? So there's multiple days. And so typically we make a list of brands we want to talk to, right? All the list is, is public information about who's going, right? So we create like a short list of people we want to talk to. Typically, when you go and meet them, they will either give you a catalog or give you a link to the catalog or not. Then after that first day, right, you go back to the hotel room, go through the catalog, see what's interesting. A lot of times, if you place an order at like the at the event, there will be some sort of additional discounts and, and lifetime discounts and stuff like that, right? So it, they bet it benefits you to place an order on the spot if you can, right? But it's also not like a pressure situation. It's multiple days, right? If you get the information, go back, do your research, go back and place the order the next day if you want. I'm hoping to hit 25 to 30K this month and I'm still not sure what. <laughs> yeah, no one is. Yeah, no one has it all figured out. Like so many of these people that make a ton of money, like they're just like, you know, one foot in front of the other, everything like that. Yeah, also if you want to source suppliers or brands, go to the vendor directory for ASD if you can't go online sure. and email people. For sure. Uh, do you guys, uh, do you buy stuff for Olsa that has a UPC mismatch with the ASIN listing and the same item? 100%, yeah, 100%. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So a lot of you, not a lot, but there are some UPCs that are just mixed up on Amazon. As long as it's the same product, doesn't matter. Most consumers that are buying from you won't even know what a UPC is. Yeah, they have absolutely no idea. All they care is it's the same product that's in the pictures and on the title. Yeah. Once yeah, you start changing packaging, yeah. and that's when it kind of gets a little fuzzy. Like if, if they see an image on Amazon, right, and their package is different than what they see, there's going to be some sort of percentage that returns that item. Um, but if the integrity, the if everything's the same, then you will be fine. Do you guys know if wholesalers will deal with sole proprietors? Why don't you ask them? No, they won't. I mean, still though, even just doing outreach to wholesalers would be. I like, mean, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. Just, you know what I mean, like, you are and, wasting your time though if you're a sole proprietor. I mean, well, prior to getting it, like getting you know getting it set up is great and such, but just even just outreaching to wholesalers is going to be good experience and because you'll realize you need it, then you get it, and then if that's I mean, the objection, yeah. you are already getting the account already. You know. Problems have solutions. Yeah, it'll it was be like all a man. Yeah, you just won't get the account. Sales tax, all that. Five hundred k revenue per month. What are you asking us questions for? Yeah, I've taken one. They're they're, they're pretty awesome. Q four preparation pointers. Yeah, do more of what's working now. It'll be way better during Q four, and you'll be much better by then. And start making content and meeting people online. Five. Yeah, you don't need a loan. Well, if he wants to grow, he potentially does. Yeah, I, I mean, love Justin's profile picture. This guy's profile picture low key looks like Wi Fi. Maybe Not a different sure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know, no, uh, no resemblance there. Yeah. Should yeah, I'm sure there? some wholesalers would, though. I bought from a wholesale as a I don't think any wholesalers, wholesalers would because you need a resale oh. certificate. Yeah, you well, can get a retail certificate as I bought from a wholesaler a few years ago. Can, I you, mean, yeah, can you get an EIN as a sole pro? I thought yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, so then you can get accounts. All they yeah, ask but if you're going through all of that trouble, just I mean, create yeah, yes, yes, yeah, of course. But like most applications... No, you can't get an EIN like, through a sole pro. Maybe sure? you can. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a Google question. Because so, The sole pro EIN is your social security number. That's the EIN. Uh, okay, I mean, well, and, yeah. this is that, not legal need... advice. Do not listen to Danny. No, that's a fact. <laughs> it's absolutely legal advice. 
Uh, some do, but generally low production and actually close out sellers that call themselves wholesalers. Hey, if it's profitable, it's profitable. Yeah, I mean, that's rich people still borrow money if they can leverage it for more than it costs. I mean, that's a fact. That's for sure. Yeah. Everyone borrow. Advice for someone, start out with retail arbitrage. Yeah, watch a bunch of YouTube videos and get out there and start doing it. 100%. Get out there and start doing it. And check it. Start Do online arbitrage too. But don't be afraid of getting tools. Don't be afraid of asking questions and meeting people. Yeah. We got 94 viewers in here right now. Guys, if you have not already, make sure you check out the podcast. It's linked in the description. It's available on all platforms and everyone for the people who are here live. Daniel, uh, Daniel Goods has not approval. Anyone know if approvals are still happening? So they do like it in, in, in waves. They'll send mm -hmm. out a bunch of applications, approve people, then they'll shut it down, then they'll send them out again. It's weird how they do it, but from what I've seen, it happens in like in waves. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Danny, if you have any other... Uh, no, I agree, because I had to wait like three months for a hazmat application. But that was like a year ago, though, so I don't know. You you don't do any hazmat, do you? Uh, No, nah, the only hazmat I've sent in recently was chlorine. Bro, you know, with the, the hazmat, sometimes you can't even use Amazon Partner Services. You have to like go yeah. and buy your own label and upload it. It's the stupidest Dude. thing ever. Uh, my prep center was like freaking out that something was hazmat. I was like, Routes. That's all I was saying. Like back when it was, it was like eight ounce bottles of like spa chlorine. I was like, relax. Uh, Aaron Reed. Yeah. So if you go in the free Discord, there's a um a link of auto ungating products or auto ungating categories and such and brands. What do you guys? Well, that's a good question. What do you guys sell more of during Q4? More of the same stuff we're already selling, right? Yeah. I think, it was in, I think it was in one of our previous episodes. Someone we had on was looking at some reports. And he was saying there's more than two times the eyes on their listings in the three months of Q4 rather than the rest of the year, right? So that alone tells you that one, there's just more exposure, more attention being drawn to those same listings. So even if you just sell the same stuff, your, your profits, your revenue is going to go up. That's, that's. EBB, God's blessed us with a special appearance of Wi-Fi. Got, okay. got you, Leo. Wi-Fi, Danny. I like got that. Got you, Leo. Don't worry about it. That's good. Be that's good, man. To avoid crazy shipping fees living in Canada. Yeah, you're going to need to if you want to sell in the U.S. Yeah, definitely okay. use. A yeah, I mean, you just simply don't have a choice, right? If you're selling on the U.S. platform, which you should. Yeah, you also have to pay um, uh, import fees when it gets sent to Canada. So. Uh, Danny, do you have a link to that tape you really like? Wait, what? Someone where? asked good shipping tape recommendations. Oh, um, yeah, it's on Uline. Um, yeah. All right, we'll Wait, drop. where's that question? I don't see it. Uh, it was from uh, yeah, the oh, uh, no, Rostislav. Oh, I thought they recalled to when I mentioned the tape. Like they were like, I heard you like this. What about no. tape? What about tape? Tape, tape, tape. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. Oh, but you don't know Not what it. cash rich, time rich is. Uh, using the ungate brands from Venera that will, uh, yeah, hundred percent. Shout out Venera. You want uh, to get that tape? No, what? no. Oh, well, from Logan, yeah. Logan's moving out of the warehouse, actually. Yeah, that warehouse. Where's the... Is his Wait, lease really? Public? Yeah. I don't know if it's, like, public yet, but I guess now it is. But he he he'd been he told me about it a little while ago. I think it was a few days ago. Did he only sign a six-month lease? Has it I been a year? No way it's been no, a year. No, probably month to month. It's two absolutely months. not yeah, been a year. Two months. Month to month. The ungate tip you gave me on Twitter worked perfectly. Let's go. Great work, Brian. Great work. Uh, global sales? No, I don't have it open. No, I shut it down. Billy you said that. You want? Billy flips. Billy flips. What are you at month to date? Billy flips. Dude, I told. I'm this saying, kid's Billy, going crazy on crazy. the TL. Yeah, really, really. Let me. Flips, Billy, you said something wild. I forgot what it was. It was something like, if you're not like taking. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. Yeah. The cash flow statement. Did you delete it? Oh, having positive cash flow as an Amazon seller isn't a flex. Just means you aren't buying enough. Dash choice word. It's pretty funny. He's honestly. been tweeting a lot. Yeah. Do you um do you agree or disagree with that sentiment, Danny? Um. No, I definitely like positive cash flow right now. Yeah, I agree. I'm a big. Yeah, it's nice to make money while you grow a business. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, no, a lot of it gets reinvested, but there's like a point at like, I don't know. It's just 
No, I like. I mean, add yeah, a, really, add right. a million, add a million a month profit, Danny. Yeah, when you know when you're doing like two million a month profit, like I am, it's just <laughs> you just want to take some some out of business. It has um, to, you, you, gotta, you gotta have some have some moolah for the shorties, you know, Miami flexing. Yeah, like it's just you got to be taking profits. I'm I mean, on the you actually cash. you actually should be taking profits. So you have capital, like cash, cash back, uh, coupon, cash back, Rakuten game. Have you made a video of it? Yeah, I have one on coupons, but Rakuten and Top Cash Back are free. Just go download those now. In terms of finding coupons, it's a little bit more difficult. There's a lot of like email sign up ones, different stuff like that. How, How should you manage this? starting out with just credit? Uh, you gotta find a way to get some cash. That definitely is, is step one um, and everything. But, I mean, if you're doing just credit, naturally you're going to be in the hole right away. Yeah, and so I don't know how familiar you are with Amazon, right? But, like, the way Amazon system works is if you sell something, you don't get that money back for, like, 30 to 45 days, right? So and you can't just loop credit with yeah. no cash backing just because it takes so long to get that money, especially if you start using – Amazon's fulfillment services, then you're talking about like 60 days until you get that money back, right? So you have to have cash back and credit is useless without it in this business. What is the minimum amount of products should I send to a prep center? Uh, as much you as- You gotta ask your prep center. So, yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, like you shouldn't be sending less of like 18 in a listing, to be honest, unless yeah. it's like a really expensive product. Like at minimum, like 18. My cash flow is in negative, inevitably going to be negative. <laughs> How much is Good rent plan. in Miami? Ah, oh, it's expensive. It's very expensive. You could use credit cards with staggered due dates and cycle through them to delay your. I mean, you're delaying the inevitable, though. You're eventually going to have yeah, to. Yeah, well, you got to sell stuff. Yeah, you got to buy stuff that moves. That's uh, it's also not a. Um, a uh, sound strategy when we're talking about building. Well, yeah, you could invoice yourself, get that cash, pay three. That I think isn't allowed, though. I think I don't know. I mean, you could do it. Yeah, it's definitely. I know a bunch of people have gotten banned on Amex from doing that. I operated at a loss for two years, took zero profits, turned thirty k investment into something that cash flowed. Wow, that's sweet. I also think you mean uh, operating at a loss is not the same as taking zero profits. Like those are entirely two different things. Two pack or four pack? Do you split that? Uh, depends what's profitable, Hannah. Just uh, kind of purely dependent on which is uh, which is profitable. Yeah, which is the better listing, right? Taking the consideration the profit per unit, the velocity, competitive sellers, all those good things. Mm. Dan, do you do any grocery or just electronics? I do a lot of grocery now. That was like my main focus the last like three months. On uh, different list, our account, right? Yeah. Well, sometimes have it depends. I have one main account for my electronics, and then I'll like throw in grocery. That doesn't really matter anymore. It did. There was a point where it did, but now it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't anymore. That's good. Ooh, OTP. It's all. It's only because some distributors they like to look at your account. Yeah. And they're like, "Why are you selling like sunscreen?" Bam, I'm trying to get this back. Yeah, and, and I'm like, <laughs> I remember one of them asked me something sunscreen? like that. They were like, why are you selling? I think it was like tomato paste. They're like, why are you yeah. selling this? And I was like, well, what do you selling mean? You sell sunscreen? Dude, holy shit. You were hitting licks on sunscreen? <laughs> but for real, yeah, fam, I'm trying to get this back. Would they not want you to be like a more well-rounded? Nah, group? some of them want you to like only sell that category but I, well, I'm they, like, probably, they don't just know how, they just don't know how Amazon works. It's, and, it's, like, and it's yeah. always like old head. It, I'm like, it doesn't matter. So I was moving it over to please one account. Uh, but then, which was, but probably, then I was yeah, clearly. But then I was like, guys, look, like, this is a pain in the ass. My question is to not overdo it. I mean, so just set spending limits, set spending standards in terms of what you're looking to hit each and every month, right? Because inevitably that spending target will influence your sales for the next month or two. Right, that's a direct correlation between input and output. You spend a dollar today, theoretically, you sell it for two, or you spend ten, you sell it for twenty next month, right? And so that's a, exactly going to correlate to what your output is, right? So if you want to make ten thousand in the business, you reverse engineer that, and then ultimately get to how much you want to be, uh, how much you need to spend. What are you laughing at? Uh, what are the options, Danny? 
anything. Like yeah. anything, anything. Okay, like, uh, Nobu, Nobu. I'll no, play no, like delivery. Bro, Chinese. What? Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. There's no Chinese here. Go get sandwichery. That place Ooh, is good. Do that. Bro, is- I got swindled on the street yesterday. Swindled. So, what does swindle even mean, bro? Like swindle. I got. I got swindled. Right, so you repeating so, the word. <laughs> shut up, Billy. Shut up. I don't. I don't need it that much anymore. Um, sandwichery is like fast food. So, so look. So I had gotten ice cream out on the street. Not on the street, but I parked my car, got the ice cream, come back to my car. Three kids were standing there with candy boxes. I was like, guys, like I'm good. Like I'm I'm good. They're like, they're like, please, like, we're we're like collecting money for our Just put it on team. the BBB card. So I was like, all right, like here's 20 bucks. Like, give me candy. So I like took some because I, I raised money for like my baseball team like way back. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, all right, cool. Then, then the next kid comes out to me and it's like, hey, look, <laughs> I need money too. Like, I'm like, bro, I just gave your boy 20 yeah, bucks, like $20, $20 for this. And I was like, dude, like, no. Dude, that he's guy's like, oh, a he's, a, he's like, we're are. different age divisions. Please, sir. Please, sir. So I was like, all right, fine. Here's another $20. Got another oh, pack of candy. Sir, I'm a Walmart and Amazon. And then a third kid came out and was like, please, sir. I was like, bro, no, there's no way. Damn and you gave it to us. No, I didn't. That's why you put a target on your back. No. With the I was being yeah. nice. And no, I was being so nice. And then they just like wouldn't fuck it. Like, I gave you four, like $20, 40 bucks for candy. Have you um have you eaten at or gotten a smoothie from the smoothie shop? Like it's literally called the smoothie shop. No. We're the best smoothies I've ever had. Where? It's I'll send you the ad, the location. I have a list to send it to you, but it was fire, bro. I think I've seen it. The or- orange place. It's on the way to your place from Parkline. Yo, teriyaki bowls, pff, fire. <laughs> yeah, but get get sandwichery and send me a pic for the for the mems. I get sandwich sandwichery. Imagine someone shows up there from the live stream. <laughs> the Italian was fire, bro. All right, I'll go. I'm gonna go to sandwichery after this. If anyone wants to meet me there, Bolt Light, damn climbing mounds. Anybody cool. wants a free Amazon consultation? Meet me at Sandwicheria in Brickle <laughs> in 20 minutes at, at like 7:30. <laughs> well, we probably got like 15 minutes left, but after that, yeah, or yeah, like 7:30, 7:45. Yeah, I'll be there. That's I'll Brickle. buy you food too. Brickle. Oh, Miles, can you um send me my uh, my account key? Huh? I mean, my yes, account. but I just don't know what. Oh, you don't have it yet? No. What? What do you mean? For seller app. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, same. All right. All right. Why are we? T- <laughs> um, gonna come sell you some candy. Justin's in Florida. Justin, actually, that's actually him right there. I'm going to come sell you. That some- actually does Loki look like Danny, to, to be honest. Bro, you guys are nuts. I mean, it does. Yo, who would be who would be interested in a buy box bandits like meetup, like live podcast? We'd have like seven viewers. I mean, it'd it be cool, but yeah. I mean, yeah, that'd be sick. Like, in a, we could we could, we could go to like, event, or we could just go to like a restaurant, take a bunch of people out to eat. Bro, Warner hosted an event and got had mad heads there. We can do it. I yeah. mean, he has a big YouTube following. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was in. We got we got miles though, so I think we're good. It's a wild, uh, miles, yeah, yeah, we should do it. Be- None of us pack ourselves. These guys don't. I do a little bit. Um, sourcing per day. Uh, at the peak, maybe an hour, but not a lot. Like. But we're also years into it. Like it's not. Yeah, well, we were we were packing ourselves for and a while. And sourcing hours a day too a year ago yeah. for a while. But yeah. um, but recently Garrett and I have taken. We went from warehouse to prep center. So from operating our own warehouses, which sucks, to prep center, which has been amazing. I have three thousand units, or actually two six six three, on the way to my prep center right now. Jeez. That's what I call weight. What's the total revenue on that? A lot. I don't know. That this dashboard doesn't tell me that. Do you still use um No. No. Don't even say it. Yeah, you don't I, even, I, I'm pissed. Beef then. I'm pissed. No, I try and keep them low key though, because there's I mean I'm they pissed. treat me well. Nah, they fucked I don't up want to get too they, fuck, they fucked up bad. Just one one shit. No nope, more. <laughs> things were hiding and they just happened to get sent out like two weeks it was ridiculous like a lot of fucking money yeah, miles i have one of danny's products at my apartment right yeah now. guys are stealing my products 
What I, I told you, you I've had it, bro. I've told you I've had it. You Why did you ship it to his house, or was it from the warehouse? No, nah, just leave it. I'll come get it when I'm back. Yeah. Do you use tax exempt state for prep center? So yes, of course. Oh, do you use a tax exempt state? Oh, I read that wrong. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, all day FBA in the car. What up, all day FBA? Shout out all day FBA. Go follow him. At Jada, all day where do you, Jada, where do you live? Yeah, I think yeah, that's in, where does the majority of our audience live? Oh, it's it's probably the, the northeast. Yeah, northeast and um, and that's like, like the majority of the United States. Cali. Like the yeah, northeast and Cali. Oh, not going to Cali. I would love to go to Cali. Yeah, I would. It's like best weather on planet Earth. Bro, one of my one one of just my looking at what he sees. Miles would go to California. I would <laughs> never go to the most beautiful state in the country. Oh, Oregon. Nah, California's cool. I like California, but it's... oh, Naples, Florida, Earth. Oh, what that's, is that is, is Long Branch like a super expensive place in California? That's okay. in Jersey. No, what? Then that's well, there's one. Oh, I live in Abington. Oh, yeah, Garrett. Used no, there's to a lot Abington. of California. Garrett, yeah. SoCal, California, Colorado, Poconos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, uh, is there so, so much California? Estimated. So, how accurate is estimated sales? Yeah. So, estimated sales is based off the sales rank. Naturally, the sales rank changes all the time throughout the day on stuff, so it's accurate to the to the current sales rank. But naturally, the sales rank in that product is changing all the time. So I personally don't like to use that as an indicator. Dude, I see a lot of Florida. What's the? Oh, that's a good question. What's the? Yeah, makes no sense. It's it's bad, but it's expensive. That's literally an oxymoron. Um, like makes no sense. What's the difference between uh, the selling private label versus FBA? Well, they're I mean, not. They're not they're not, not the different. Things. Things. They're yeah. one the same. Yeah. I think you mean private label. They're like a wire wholesale, right? Private label is just a lot more risk, a lot higher barrier of entry, and a lot yeah. higher upside. F- FBA yeah. is the method in which your products get sent to the yeah, customer. Yeah. There's FBA, FBA, there's FBA and FBM. FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. FBM is fulfillment by merchant. So either you're shipping it out or Amazon shipping it out. FBW fulfillment. Yeah, but anyway, so like I was saying, Dan, so one of my students, this program, it lives in like one of like the nicest places in Cali. I forget what it uh, – I thought it was Long Branch, but I guess obviously Long not. Beach probably. Long Beach. Oh, I bet that's what it is. Long Beach, Yeah. She was showing me like her view from her balcony, dude. It's- Shout out to Josh. Josh is a gangster. He, he he's like been making money online forever. He's he's cool. Dude, I didn't know Checkmate Flips lived in Colorado. Colorado, That's Colorado yeah. Yeah, we were bro. Yeah, we were. He drove me from the airport. Shout out Checkmate Flips. Oh, he did. Yeah, with uh, who's I with? Tim, probably. Tim, right? no. Jake, um, Taylor. I was Taylor. a Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. Wait, Taylor. Taylor went to the Jake Paul. Yeah, fight. we went to and we went to Wendy's. <laughs> Do you outsource out. accounting to a company? Yes. Pretty yeah, sure. I think everyone should. Dude, that was a fun ski trip. You guys missed out. You should have went. Yeah, are you gonna do it again? Uh, I'm for sure gonna spend like a month in Colorado this winter. I'm super excited. Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just send a month. Jake so Carter I'm style. Alive. Yeah. Ooh, that's a that's a hot take. Is that better than uh, Ben books the world? That's a hot. What? Take. That is a hot. Oh, take. Uh, yeah. Mate Flip says the best nature stories on IG for sure. I don't Ooh. know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's tough. That's super tough. Or Alex, that like last week was sick. What happened? Wherever Ben was last week with like the late. Oh, and uh, he's in Peru, right? Yeah. How do you you say it? Is it Oregon or Oregon? I think it was Oregon. That's going to spark another debate in the comments. Is it Oregon or Oregon? I think think I've always said Oregon. I think I've said or- I think I've been saying Oregon. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, we did. What other Amazon questions you guys have? We'll probably be on for like five or ten more minutes. Or Oregon. Oregon. I'm about to go eat some pretzels. Oregano. Dude, this Oregon. is awesome. <laughs> this is so funny. Pronounce organ. Yeah, now everyone's everyone. They're all trickling in the band. Pronounce organ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. That's origami. Origano. 
got some jokesters in the chat. Origami. Went to, went to Wendy. All right, let's get some let's get some last minute questions in before we do the meetup at Sandwicheria. True. What should I be asked thinking? All right, what should I be asking that I'm not thinking of? Ooh. Uh, um, but I don't know. I would say what all of you guys that are listening probably aren't doing is meeting other Amazon stars and having conversations and getting to know people and making friends, making content. I would also say, and I made a video on this today for my course. Uh, I was like, take it easy, like slow down. There's yeah, a lot of there's a lot of young people who are very far, and then there's older what whatever. There's a lot of different people in different places. Just slow down. Like you'll yeah. all get to where you want to go. I think it, I think that's very that's super good advice. It's very mature coming from someone like you, Danny. That is Thank that you. is mature game, especially coming from someone like Danny. No, it's just it's just hard because being in like the social spotlight, there's so much pressure and well, impose self imposed pressure to like keep up with people that you know spend like what people that you know are spending and just doing what other people are doing right so that's just naturally gonna come see if you're like hannah prem and you're 99 years old all hope is actually gone for yeah you. yeah so true you can't you might that. as well chalk up this live stream and just get off but so that making content and more importantly just like networking like that's something everyone that does it recommends and everyone that and then it's free and still so many people don't do it because it's uncomfortable yeah. Talking to people is uncomfortable. Well, so is making money. Dude, yeah. Talking to people, especially like sales reps and account reps, that first time, dude, that phone. Well, the first is ever heavy. sales call. Yeah. And that's that why phone dude, is that's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. First ever sales call, first yeah. ever big purchase, yeah. first ever. Any of the first, it, it's heavy. Like when you're sending out that first PO email, like, dude, like, it, it everything, it, it, yeah, you got to take your time and, and take it easy. We can meet. We. Oh, where can we meet other sellers? I mean, obviously Instagram, right? Oh, I mean, sure. Yeah, Sandwicheria tonight, seven thirty. Yeah, like, sandwich. Yeah. You either want it or you don't. Do you guys? That's a good question. Do you guys have wholesale accounts with brands or just distributors? So both. I think Danny, you you typically both, both but dude, brands right? piss me off, man. Really? What is you can't, you can't you? get you can't get the discounts the distributors are getting because like even like you you order one pallet from a brand. But the distributor is ordering a hundred, so there's just you can't compete. The only way you compete with distributors against brands is by building a relationship with your rep at the brand. That's the only way because you can't compete in money, you can't compete in volume. The only way you can compete is with a relationship. That's it. That's and good. charisma. What is recommended to do if you don't have a lot of storage space at home? Use a prep center. Don't touch any of it. Yeah, fine. I mean, well, like, yeah, I, no. If your brand, I mean, the the like. Like Garrett's you know, taking like up soccer. Make it work. Yeah. Like it's not like, not out of the gate though. You know what I mean? But like, see, that's where I think you and I, there's no benefit to learning how to prep. I mean, there's, there's not. There's an incredible benefit to moving with speed and having a yes, ton of control yes, to yes. merchant fulfill and, and buy and replenish quick. Yeah, I mean, if, if Merchant Fulfill is in your business model, for sure. Which it yeah, but if, you're, be if, if you're your new. prep center yeah. is shipping it out within three days, like, there's, like, what well, it's is not it? adding much, right? I mean, well, like, it's, it's, I mean, that three days compounded over a year when you're broke is an incredible amount. It's two extra but, turns of your money. But I would argue the time spent prepping when it should be sourcing, especially. Ah. Sourcing. Oh, well, but what about the month? Like, you're going to run out of money and then you'd be better off. Yeah, like, yeah, I but like. I rather we run out of money. So much here, money here's here's what, fulfilling here's stuff. What, I would rather run out of money and have a bunch more exactly. products just waiting for me when I get more you money. So you could sell I agree. Lists. I can, agree. This is a very healthy debate. I enjoy it. I'm all right. Yeah. It. Everyone, don't use for App Center. Don't do any work. Money will fall out of the sky. If no, we say spend more time sourcing. I mean, no, that yeah, is yeah. not what we're but saying. Buy Amazon automation. Spend the most time, double, triple down on what activity all right generates the most money that's okay all right ready miles 30 seconds you pitch your argument uh you need to be able to merge to fill you need to be able to move with speed and you need to know what you're doing because okay, if you have what if you ever had to do it yourself and you didn't know what you're doing you have 15 more seconds would you like to yield i mean i'm time? just no i'm like just right on this like okay garrett garrett, garrett garrett you have 30 like, seconds uninterrupted like you're telling people not to it's work when if you have if you like you need to work to make money you need no to, one's saying not to learn. I'm just saying Amazon. Think, like the lack of new, the amount of nuance we picked up doing it on ourselves is like that people who never, like, will just never stuff where, like, the where well, like, nuance is. with prepping, though. 
I mean, okay. Yeah, I, let's be real. Prepping is a ten dollar an hour activity. Yeah, but it's the control, like merch. Dude, we made. I made like five hundred bucks last night in an hour. No, it's not like you keep bringing up merch of a fail. We're talking. Yeah, like, it's the control. Fun. It's the control. Yeah. Okay. Congrats. You could like, MF no one work. Too, no one make money. Yeah, but like, okay, Danny. When the stuff comes in from the distributor and you need to ship out in two days, you're just gonna be bossing them around and stuff and everything. Wait, I, you we couldn't have done what we did last year to find success as quick as possible with the prep center. Period. We couldn't. No, nah, I think we could have. So you would have just had them merge to fulfill everything, some last minute stuff. I mean, it would have been harder. Is just but I'm not really talking about MF, though. I'm talking. I'm like, just saying, you. I think you, MF is terrible. Make, Miles is just to make money oh, builds right. you into the type of person that can make more money. I agree I'm more with worried that. about uh, like building the skill of focus and stuff. Like, okay, why make content when you could just run paid ads to get followers? Like I mean, I agree with that. Prepping definitely builds a work ethic. Yeah, well, like why source when you could just get VAs? Well, because you need to learn how to source to teach the VAs. No, uh, my argument is spend more time sourcing uh, than you learn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just yeah, I, what'd you say? I you think said why source when money, you can get VAs, and I said I think, you need to learn how to source to train the VAs. Yeah, I think to make money, you have to become the type of person that can make money, and that's through time and focus on something. No, yeah, I think there's an argument for both sides. Time but... and focus. I'm just saying spend your time and focus sourcing. That's the thing that matters. Prepping doesn't matter. Prepping is a 10, 15 I think if you're a disciplined individual. Yeah, you're not if you are if you don't have money, though. Like, and you're just new. I mean, I was disciplined when I was broke. Then I was, why straight broke? Out of, I was straight out of college. Like, I, had, I was right. coming out. You see what I'm saying? Uh, how long does it usually take you guys to source products using cell? I mean, that's unrealistic being that we're years into it but it's going to take you very long when you're new just like sourcing anything that's actually also yeah like yeah. you're going to notice like when you're doing things it might take you like 30 to 40 minutes to analyze a listing yeah. whether it's good to buy or not at the start like, li like literally but then as you go on and as you put in the reps it the t that time goes down and your ability to analyze it pro uh, properly goes up like it's just accuracy like, now it, now it, for it, us it. It takes like 60 seconds but like, understand see it's a good so buyer. much that other people don't the see the power the power yeah. of this business will always be in the restock right the more products yeah. you can finally a good take with. what's up I'm finally a good take <laughs> that was a good bet that was good that no, was no no i i think um we got we got a good positive no, i think i think we're gonna need to speak about that more i i i that'd I, be a I, good youtube video yeah, I just think you should you like you gotta work to become the type of person that can make money. But well, I mean, that's agree. not my argument. You're, You're talking about physical labor. By sourcing. I, no, sourcing but like work. Being, but yeah, okay. Say, but you also lose so much speed. You, like you just lose so well, much. Just three days. Three days. Two or three which days. Which compounded over a year. Which compounded over a year on a hundred grand of spend, you lose fifty thousand. So, okay, and then the argument for you that would be right, the okay, and then the argument for that would be the one to three hours you spend prepping compounded that over a year where you could have spent that sourcing but you ran out of money how do you know we're running out of money Amex you're, increases you're your then how do you know we're running out of time to pre exactly or are you just you're like, correlating wanting to outsource to a prep center equivalently to not wanting to work yeah because i hear hundreds, hundreds of beginners I'm who i never who i know will never make money because they're not interested in working that's a fact and you and i am incredibly right i've been doing i've been getting these dms for years I've been getting these DMs for years. Be these DMs for years. Yes, yeah. yes or no. In the beginning, you need to be doubling down on the most profitable activity. Is that yet yes. true? Yes. So if we're ranking activities in the business, how would you rank sourcing and buying? I just think you, I just, I'm just. i not that in comparison to you, you, you this, try this to get the fire. Five, I need to five this to 10 grand a month in profit as quick as possible, which is going to take over a year if you're starting at zero as quick as possible. And then you optimize. Because the upside but, is, but, but if say, the upside isn't. We merchant fulfilled so much when we were brand new, and you're just lying if you say like we wouldn't. No, like, we did, we did, we did. That's exactly. Nice. All right, that's a good. That's a fire. Stuff. Just, this just, just fire like, I fulfill, merchant fulfill. Like so, I, I, I think you're, I you're only winning game. because you're only winning because you have merchant fulfill on your side. If yeah, it was, and I'm right. And I'm well, right because I know we like, all did. Like, yeah, if we're just if we're just comparing apples to apples, FBA 
then there's no argument. To yeah, it. but then you're you also buy box less. You have to price it lower. Like, why oh, are we no, talking but, about Okay, let's say, all right, if you have a hundred dollars in your bank account right now, you're not going to be able to afford to hit a 500 unit minimum on preps, and you're going to be a terrible client. If you had a hundred dollars in your bank account. It. And you said to me, "How do I start on Amazon?" I take go get a job and see yeah. And that's yeah, the problem. Problem. yeah, this is not realistic, though. You you're not going to. Hey, re- hey, you're the one who's telling people to not to like just outsource stuff from the beginning. I'm not the one. Why don't you just get Amazon Automation then? I, we're that we're saying to go. Those, those are scams. Those are questions. Those are scams. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if anyone is in uh, the New Jersey, Philadelphia area, uh, we are potentially hosting a dinner on the 22nd, 23rd, something like that. Let us know. Hit hit the DMs for us. Let us know if you'd go to something like that. A meetup? Yeah, like in the maybe in Philly, some, something like that. I, mean, I would fly down to uh, Florida for a meetup. No, Philadelphia. I, and I just said I. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would rather fly down to Florida for. Yeah, yeah. See, exactly. This is this is realistic. Yeah, this is realistic. I yeah. Think, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should only. Be- whoa, whoa, whoa! Hannah works for an automated in- insider secrets podcast. Hannah, whoa. send us your. Send whoa, us your she's email. An she's an op, dude. Yeah, she's. Yeah, there's ops in the chat. <laughs> Uh, oh, of course. Yeah, Reggie, definitely. What's this? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's coming soon. <laughs> True. Yeah, that uh, BBB NFT. Yeah, just like the the Discord, he made a start that you haven't talked in in six months. Yeah, uh, dude, let's, do a, let's, do a, let's do a Florida meetup in August. Or, I mean, how long did it take me to find that prop? Wi Fi astronaut at Wi Fi astronaut. <laughs> Yeah, you could DM at Wi-Fi Ashnot with two T's on Twitter. Two-T's, yeah, Danny, let's plan a, a Florida meetup. Ninety-nine-year-old Grant, right. Danny, do a video with Hannah under inside the inside. That actually will be cool. We could put her on like a voice changer. Yeah, like, yeah. A, like a Dark Vader mask or something. That'd no, I want to do that with OA Troll real bad. Oh, no, I'm, I'm in not. the yeah. OA Troll retired already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sucks. you know, no work ethic, so you know. Why? How could he be? Yeah, he wanted to outsource the content creation to uh, Billy Flips. No way. That was weak sauce. Ah, oh, Josh Blackburn. Those are the worst dates for me. I won't be in Florida. No, we will. Dan and I are going to do something in Florida. We'll, yeah, we'll maybe be. in September, like end of September. Well, I'm gonna be yeah, down end there. of September. End of, end of September. End of September. Early October. Florida. Uh, no yeah, we'll- on Garrett. What is it? Nobu restaurant on you. All right. Uh, hey. All right. What's Nobu? I don't know what that is. It's, it's like, like a super it's very expensive. expensive. <laughs> yeah. Like it's really. actually not that, bad. It's not that bad. I thought you said tofu at first. I was like, dude, no, that, tofu is disgusting. We'll go to Hibachi. Java's paying me to be a nice cut fan. Oh, damn. Appreciate you, B Holmes. 100% big bo- see, viral updates. Vegas meetup. Oh, it starts September 4th. Yeah. Vegas meetup. Hannah, slide in Wi-Fi astronauts DMs inside the inside Amazon automation. Yeah, I, actually, I actually do want to speak with you. About yeah, that. I can. Hey, Hannah, can you DM me as well? Yeah, I am interested in that. Uh, I think she was just bantering. No, I don't think she was. I don't think she was either. Just seemed like too specific. Yeah, and like, like you know, I work and, for yeah. an automation company. And naturally, it worked, 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 worked at. Yeah. Anyways, Vegas. I'll be in Vegas next weekend if you want to meet up. Josh is in, oh no, Josh yeah. Why don't we just start? Why don't we just start meeting up people like every other weekend? Well, I mean, you have one in seven minutes here at, at the Tacarita or wherever or where. Oh yeah, we we have one at Sandwicheria, and whenever I get office, plus <laughs> three minutes. This plus, has been this has been fun. This has been a good fun. Oh, of course, yeah. The live episodes is set, the see if this will do well. But what are we gonna title this? What should we title this? Live episode, live, live Q and A. Yeah, just Q&A. live, live buy box well, fan. Live buy box fan. All right, yeah, sure, I like that. Heated. All right, heated. Everyone have a great night. Heated. Oh, that would be funny. Yeah, like, yeah, like Graham, Graham, Steph, and clickbait. Yeah, like we're breaking up. <laughs> Last episode. Yeah, Miles they just clickbait stuff so badly. Dude, yeah, everyone clickbait stuff. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Miles, live it. Uh, go listen to the uh, Elon episode. The full set. I already did. Yeah, I already did. The full, the full thing. Vegas. Yeah, a lot of automation companies are based out of Vegas. You listen really? to the whole I know that one guy. episode much, yeah. 
I mean, maybe not the whole thing, but like it was long. I still haven't I mean, made it three the hours. Thing. So like, either it? you listen to the whole thing or you, or you didn't. Yeah, I still am making it through the whole. I'm on like hour two. I got an hour and a half in. I'm gonna save it for my drive to Jersey. That's what I'm saying. I had to break it up. I just couldn't like listen. I to can't it. do three hours. I mean, Elon's fun. There was one really really funny part where no, someone dude, asked so him. Funny. Someone asked him if like the pressure gets to him. And he was like, what under the pressure. Hell? Like, Why are you asking me this? Like, no, do you he's, know saying, who I am? he's saying, us, he was like, under pressure. Yeah, because he's like, that question's a joke. Like, do you know who I am? Of course, like, this pressure really like, doesn't matter. Nah, he, Elon throws some good banter. Right? The boy. Sure. All right, everyone, have a good night. Subscribe, get a free trial, sell amp. Appreciate you guys. <laughs>